All right, guys, I found uh, the issue. I know I'm not putting this 16 by nine, but uh, this is where the dig cut was, the primary issue with my cable. This is down the road. You see we're here at an amplifier. If, not, if you guys have never seen an amplifier on a cable system, and this is what they look like, at least inside the last mile in a neighborhood. So basically, I had to run a new drop. This is just um, RG11 that they've run. From here, you see they spliced it in here, just with a barrel. And it, it comes around, if you trace it down, they just pop that in temporarily. You see there's actual markings, I don't know if that comes across, but they're actual markings for the cable coax, but didn't really follow them, I guess. And they just put it in here into a radio cap. I don't know if this is open. Yeah, it's open. So you can see down in there, they splice down in that area anyways into the RG11, but you can see the RG11 is coming straight off the bottom of this tap to feed this tap. And then, and then you have that regular six coming off of the home as it should be. But you can see the line continues. We still have 11 and it's coming out and it goes down and down and down. So you see down there, I'll just walk down there. We've got RG11 here. It basically has to do really a temporary, I don't know if it's temporary or not, they, they may bury this. Probably will actually. Um, some uh, RG11 drops <coughs> from tap to tap to amp <coughs> so far as I see and here's another tap and you see port right here on the bottom of this tap plate with our with RG11 come off of that and what's a little bit ironic is you see you come right here oh bam look it's marked so it wasn't so much it wasn't marked I mean you see the uh, orange is all uh, is all coax markings it wasn't so much that it wasn't marked it was just more that they just cut right into it anyways you see all the markings right here and just right into it now I don't know where they hit where they didn't hit but I'm just showing essentially what the problem was I'm on the EOL uh, tap if you will pedestal in this system in this neighborhood so I'm the last one in line so it happened on this road basically and and then down here is that amp and that was what they had to do just above ground and all this would get buried eventually <laughs> but it's it's uh it's solid as a rock now I just wanted to I just wanted to show you guys if you're curious of coax type stuff uh, you have quite a few of these inside of most any neighborhood with underground utilities and just these boxes that look like this more or less are going to have the amplifiers because they're active systems and you have problems with that you have problems with a lot of things uh, right along here the power company had a hot leg cut off of that box right there power box right there and they had a trailer here for over a week maybe two weeks uh, that was powering the uh, hot side and they finally fixed it you see the digging here uh, where the power company has had to come in the, uh, this is uh, hot I mean this is power markings and you see they've had to come in and dig and fix it properly themselves and also the gas company had to come in and do the same type of deal and you can see off of here, just while I'm looking at it, here's a drop, an extra drop, run off of, uh, run to this uh, feeder, just copper straight off of this. And this is gonna run all the way down to the O and U, next O and U in line all the way down this road. I don't know if it's making it out on the camera or not, but that's not atypical. I mean, you have this stuff all, all the way around this neighborhood. So it is what it is. The good thing is they're done. They've been done. You've got your uh, uh, 
I'll turn it 16 by 9 now, I guess. You can turn your heads. Now I won't screw with your heads. Uh, you know, you've got your your uh, AT and T. Should be marked AT and T on here. Although I don't. Yeah, right here. Uh, it's not even closed properly. Doesn't matter, I guess. Your conduit in here with the pull strings in there, and it's ready to go. You know what I mean? And then, then since this is right next to an O and U, and more or less uh, the TV80 junction split, they've got the conduit coming in right here. You see that piece of conduit opened up, come in right there. And it's just going to back up into that, and then you've got just the lateral loop that's made around the uh, neighborhood where you're going to have. Uh, your fiber pulls going from one uh, handhold to the next off the ONU. This is actually technically the uh, ONU that will be pulled from to service me whenever this is put into the database and lit up. So there you go, guys. Maybe that stuff's cool to you. This kind of stuff is interesting to me. So that's why I went ahead and took a quick video of this. Take care.